Oh, it's a stunning pass. Counter-punching brilliance from Sviontek. As the world number one breaks early. Secures a two-love early lead. Brilliant movement as well. Just wonderful tennis. I don't mind it, the, the tactic from Volta trying to come forward. A number of unreturnables. Paints the line with that forehand. 14, 15. Baseline it has just enough top spin on it. Nick will know when she comes forward, it has to be a very effective approach shot because the tallest player in the business. So there is a lot of space to pass it. Not to challenge, by the way, but. That's too good. That whippy forehand that has won her so many matches throughout her time in this sport. Oh, that's audacious. Wonderful court craft from Igor Sviontek. Keeping Nate the runaround in the, the rally. Again, the, the okay. Igor Sviontek delivers for her nation as it's Poland who secure their passage to the Billie Jean King Cup Finals in November. They were always favorites against the Swiss. And they now have an unassailable three love lead. And look what it means to the world number one. Gets the better of Celine Nape, who posed a lot of tough questions and gave the world number one a fair amount of shocks throughout the, the match. But it is Fiontek who wins 6-4, 6-3 in Poland go up three love valiant effort by Nape she will have learned a lot from that experience and I think her overriding feeling will be that she can mix it with the best in the business was up a break in the first set was down a double break in the second and was able to pull it back but just couldn't quite stay with Sviontek in both of those sets the experience and the sheer talent of the 22 year old just too much to handle Maybe in a couple of years' time, who knows, those bigger moments might start to go Nave's way. She is certainly a talent at the age of 18. Sviontek winning both of her matches here in BLBN. To make it through and to join the other nations, Australia, Canada, Czechia, Italy, Japan, Slovakia and Spain. And now Poland as well. Just four more spots remain from the end of this weekend. We will know the 12 teams who will be in Seville in November. And we know that Poland will be there. Perhaps we will have the world number one there as well. Lovely scenes with regards to Heinz Guentard. I'm sure he will have stated the positives from that performance from Nate, the positives from the performance yesterday from her, where she nearly beat the world number 52. Just two points away from that. Had she won that, then, well, we would have been heading into a, a fourth match with something on it. As it is, we will see a doubles. But it's Poland who celebrate in front of their 
travelling fans, and there's always travelling fans with regards to Poland. The Swiss who've uh, done a great job here at the, uh, the Swiss Tennis Arena, holding an excellent tie. Of course, it was their first home tie since winning the Billie Jean King Cup Finals in 2022. And they will now have to go back to the drawing board. It's three losses in a row for Heinz Guentard team. It's always going to be tough for them without Golibic or Bencic. And I'm sure he will be very proud of his players' efforts. They gave it absolutely everything. They played in a, a wonderful spirit too. He saw Iga, smiles throughout. Congratulations. We saw at the end how much this meant for you to qualify your team for the finals. Yes, I'm super happy and proud of everybody. It's been a really, you know, fun week. So I'm happy, you know, that uh, this time I could um, kind of lead my team to, you know, be in the finals. So hopefully, um, you know, we're going to finish it in November. But I'm super proud of what we achieved uh, this to, for these two days, and um, now we'll have fun on doubles. Uh, tell us about this match. Uh, in the second set, you were leading 4-0. Four, four in the end, it was not so easy. Um, yeah, I feel like uh, my focus went down a little bit. Uh, rookie mistake, but and Celine for sure used it, you know. So, yeah, playing against, you know, good players, you can't really um, have these moments, but... I knew that I can refocus again and found, find my discipline, so at the end I did that and I'm happy. Iga, it's been a, an honor having you play in, in Switzerland. Can you tell us about this year, 2020, 2024, who could be another big year for you? Well, we'll see. Um, I'm not really, you know, expecting anything. I'm just focusing on the work, but it's already been actually, you know, a pretty great season. Um, I started better than, you know, last year, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident and I feel like I can just, you know, enjoy playing because I don't need to, like, focus on rankings or anything else. So I'll try to do that um, through the end of the season. And we wish you good luck. Mesdames et Messieurs, Iga Schwiontek. Yeah, of course, a lot of points to defend with regards to the, the tour coming up. One roll on Garros last year. It's not too far away now. Second slam of the season, but has delivered for her nation. And as she said there, Will they perhaps go on to win their first ever BDG?